people it's to... like you know people need something so you or they need some help so you help them and you know that when you need help you'll get stuff back and mm -hmm. you've got something spare so you give it to them and you know that when you need something that you'll get it back and that's how it should it doesn't be even have to be from that. that person no no exactly it's just, it, it's just it, from it, it's from like to, to, out to us the green do, green dollar schemes have become almost like a stepping stone yes to, to towards yeah. what what could you know and I mean, not that, everybody that, in the utopia, scheme sees that I mean, yeah. not everybody in the scheme okay, it's quite challenging for some people that it's oh, like yeah. it's it's quite different and it's a bit strange and well you're letting go of a lifetime of training yeah. Yeah, the IRD yeah. thing, I kind of feel like I do need to go back to mm. the thing about tax. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, so, so my understanding of the tax situation, and I also I did look up on the WINS website as well, actually. So, it, oh, this also applies for benefits. So, as far as I am aware, um, if people are getting a regular income from green dollars, then they re then they're regarding it as income. If the, the WINS website certainly says that if somebody's, if it's like a, an a occasional favour and they've been given a little bit of green for it and it's not anything major, that they're not that interested and they're not going to include it in terms of benefits. But if somebody's doing regular, say, firewood cutting for green dollars, then it's part and they look at it in terms of what benefits they get. So in terms of tax, um, Quang is in the green dollar scheme. They obviously, you know, all of their stuff goes through their books. It all goes through the accounts. They pay all the stuff they're supposed to pay on it. Any, I do quite a bit of work for Kwanga because we do the guided tour program. I do workshops for Kwanga. John does workshops for Kwanga. So we get paid in, in green dollars. Um, so all of that gets declared. It yeah. gets declared. But I, the thing that they were missing on that discussion on the Transition Town mm. website was you don't declare it as green. It's income. Yeah. Yeah. It's just That's income. Yeah. So it doesn't, yeah, yeah. it doesn't get written down as green dollar income. It's just no. income. And it's declared on my, on my form that I do at the end of the year. Mm. And I pay... And I do pay New Zealand dollar tax on yeah. it. Yeah, it's New Zealand. But, but it's like, it's, but so it's just part of, yeah. it's just part well, of I mean, my income yeah. stream. Yeah. I was, yeah. oh, I was aware of that. So, so that says so people need to have that yeah. conversation. Awesome. And I think the reality for the stuff with the yeah, IRD is that if these schemes get massive and they start to so see them, or if there's a political push okay? for them to start trying to box them in, they will. And if mm. there isn't that political will, then they won't. But they'll, they'll only box them in if, if they don't. Like if, and because when Miguel was here, he'd been talking to someone at the Reserve Bank, he'd send them in yeah. conferences. They like them. Yeah. And they're keen on them as long as the tax comes in. Mm. Yeah. That's, all, but on that's the line, all they care that's about. It's just a legal requirement. That because for them, for them, it's just it's probably money that some of it that they wouldn't have got. Yeah, and what I what I was saying on that because my what one of my responses on the website was because I think people are getting very hung up about the tax thing. Mm. My tax responsibilities are my tax responsibilities. Mm. That if if I'm if if you're the administrator of the scheme, they're not your tax mm. responsibilities. Mm. They're mine. Mm. In the same way that you don't expect the bank manager to start telling you what you should be paying tax on or what you shouldn't. It's your legal responsibility. So people need to do their own thing with their own tax returns and declare So with the stuff. Green Dollar Scheme, it's not an entity, so it doesn't have to pay tax. It's just a fluid it's motion. Just a fluid. Yeah, yeah that's because nice. there's nothing accruing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just accruing, a scheme. There? I think the interesting thing with your scheme is there's nothing physical. Yeah, it's just mm. virtual. It's virtual, mm. and so that's always interesting in itself. Yeah. Have you had, have you had anyone try and rip it off? No. Pe people, I mean, the people who are in it, mm. that, yeah, that is prob probably interesting actually. The people who are in it to join the scheme, originally they were all people who knew each other, mm -hmm. and I was the person, I was, I'd been the administrator, so I was administrating it, and somebody would have to join, and I already knew them, and I yeah. knew everybody else knew them, so I'd go, yeah, okay. <laughs> but then, the, then you got this thing where people I didn't know yeah. were asking to join the scheme. So we took, I took that to the group and okay, so, because I didn't want to be responsible for that, mm. you know, me making an, a unilateral mm. decision, <clears throat> so what should we do? So we decided that anybody who joins the scheme, they get a, a reference from somebody else who's already in the scheme, Just and it's just about saying these people are connected, you know, yeah. it's about, so... So, so you're not you're not gonna start ripping your mates mm. off, you know. Um, that was the point as well that we brought in with the, the kind of ceiling for a probationary period. For, yeah. For new members See how it works. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's, so it's like a few hundred dollars just for the first couple of trading periods, just mm. to make sure that that people aren't just gonna go mad and accrue a massive debt and mm. then get stuck and not know what to do with it. But I've been really impressed at how responsible everybody is about the whole thing, mm. and some people yeah. who've gone through maybe some difficult times in their lives and so the, the, the negative balance has sat there for a while but then I noticed that one person I've got in my head about that was that stuff's obviously on the up for them that they're better physically 
and they've gradually started trading again. So they sat there and didn't trade for a while, and it was a bit of a concern, but it wasn't huge. Mm. But they've started trading again now that they're well, and I think there's a lot of responsibility that this is about a trading scheme that's about people within a community supporting each other, mm. 